hello and good morning Saturday the 8th of July 2017 0654 hours I'm gonna jump on the bus to Cardiff specifically the Ernest Willows nope specifically not the Ernest Willows in Iron Bevan because it's time for the Weatherspoons Cider and Perry Festival again that's this morning this afternoon probably the hot bunker it's summer and I've got 52 minutes worth of recording time left. Better shut up. Hey, happy summer everyone. Ah, oh, the Bevan. Back to 2010. Okay, Eight minutes before it opens. That's just what nearly for the Who knows? Let's have a look. And we're off. Three thirds for the price of a pint, 285, which isn't bad. Starting with number one, Kung Fu Cider, Samford Orchards, 4%. And in the middle, uh, Strawberry Cider, Bournemouth Cider Company, also 4%. And the last one, Knights Northern Mist, 5% by Aston Manor. Okay. So might as well go straight into Kung Fu Cider. Chinese fragrance and energy made with ginger, lychee, ginseng and pure tea. Well we shall see. It smells cidery actually. Hmm. Cider with a hint of ginger, I would have said. Complex finish. B plus. And now number two. Strawberry Cider. That's the name. By the Bournemouth Cider Company. 4% alcohol by volume. Sweet. Light, pink and refreshing. Hmm. Bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. Changed a bit since been here last. Mmm. That is, I wouldn't say it's hugely fruity, but the finish is sweet strawberries, like mashed up strawberries. I'm going to give that B plus in a bit for the strawberry taste. Yeah. Oh, so far, so good. Apologies, the last cider, the strawberry cider, wasn't born the cider company, but Barbon Cider Company. I'm not that strong either. <coughs> anyway, next one at 5% alcohol by volume, medium, Knights Malvern Mist from Aston Manor. Name rings a bell, I think I had some of that when I asked you. I'm not sure it was this one. Medium dry, bittersweet, canary apple varieties from Herefordshire. Okay. Ooh, lovely aroma of apples. Mm, sharp, apple Slightly acidic. Really acidic finish. B plus in a bit. So this is Hallett's Real Cider, 6% alcohol by volume, medium. It says Caffilly, it's actually Caffilly Borough, it's Newbridge. So let's have a trust. Trust. Trust, maybe? Mmm. I don't want to use the word complex. Definitely complex. Deep rounded flavour, sharp finish. Definitely rounded, slightly sweet. Um, I'm thinking B plus. Sort of toffeeish finish. And probably the last for today here from the Taunton Cider Company. First. Press original. 
4% alcohol by volume. They're all quite light on the ABVs, which I'm in favour of. Medium dry. Ooh, okay, I've already had a quick sniff. That doesn't sound wrong. Lovely apple aroma. Okay, carpet, manning, view. A little thin and watery at the moment, might be some improvement temperature. But I'm getting sharp apples. I'm going to come back in a minute or two. So it's up to temperature. Huh? This is the first press to be by the Bolton Cider Company. It is a little thin, gentle finish. You get the apples coming through from a long way. Because the apples go on and on. Well, that looks good. This looks good. And I'm back, and I've just stolen the mayorship. Anyway, from the Gloucester Brewery, Flags Mr. Manning. And this is Session Pale, 3.7% alcohol by volume. That's nice, you. Hmm, smells deep. Hmm. Unfined, hazy, and the finish is really sort of complexly fruity, like I'm thinking maybe mm, B plus and a bit and a bit, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, so this is Pam Omus from the Wine Brewery on Twitter at So the Brew. 4.2% alcohol by volume. This is the keg version. I think it's a bit lively. It's definitely carbonated. So let's start with the aroma. Flags, Mr. Manning. I can get the hops. That's because I've got a rubbish nose, so don't take that. But big head. Pamplemousse Plus. It's a little bit colder than that. Even with that, it's B++. Brilliant lunches. Well done, Sue. Hats off. Oh, and a bit of finish. Lady Brewers. I don't like to say it, but I think they're better. I'm going to have to go to Sheffield. This is from Blue Bee, NZ IPA, which I'm assuming is New Zealand IPA, 6% alcohol by volume. White balance, below it under the ground, so whatever. Very good. That's a B plus plus. Lots of different hops. Fruity, bitter, nice bit of finish. It's what I need. B plus plus. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day on this one. This is a little cool again. I think it's 5.2 percent alcohol by volume. It's 90 IBUs. It's from Popcraft Gaza. I don't think it's called Hopcraft Gaza before. Anyway, it's at the right hand side of the bar, so it's stronger and more expensive. 
Mm. Oh, well, man. That's my nose. Mm. Interesting mix of hops. Actually, no one of his better ones. B plus. Sorry, Gaza. <laughs> <laughs>